Hello, I'm Tony Thornton, Director of Technical Information here at Micromoretics. I want to thank all of you for attending our demonstration on how to use the Autopore Mercury Intrusion Porosimeter. Over the years, we've learned these techniques to maximize quality results from an Autopore, which we will share with you today during this demo. So let's begin. First, Chris will demonstrate loading a sample into an empty penetrometer and then sealing the penetrometer for analysis using the Autopore. He will determine and record the sample mass as well as the penetrometer mass, both of which are needed for calculations of specific intrusion volume and material densities. Initially, Chris is going to determine the mass of the sample test portion. Today he is analyzing an alumina catalyst support. Now Chris has analyzed materials like this before and wants about one gram of sample. We need to analyze enough sample so that 25% to 90% of the mercury available for intrusion is used during the analysis. And so the penetrometer being used helps to determine the mass of sample needed, as does the porosity of the sample. He starts with tearing the balance with a weighing pan, adding the sample, and recording the mass in his laboratory notebook. Next, Chris is going to prepare to add sample to the penetrometer by placing a small piece of pipe cleaner into the top of the stem. When analyzing extrudates, such as this catalyst support, we use one of the powder penetrometers. For these, the stem extends up into the bowl. This helps to prevent sample from entering the stem during handling and analysis. The pipe cleaner makes it easier for Chris to add the sample to the bowl without sample entering the penetrometer stem. He uses the same technique when analyzing powdered samples. He tamps the penetrometer lightly to settle the sample and discards the piece of pipe cleaner. He's going to place the weighing pan back onto the ballast to make sure he transferred all the sample to the penetrometer. Now it is time to seal the penetrometer. Chris starts by placing a line of the Apiazon H grease on his finger. He's going to apply this grease in a thin line along the outer edge of the top surface of the penetrometer by rotating and lifting the penetrometer along the line of grease on his finger. He moves his finger around the outer edge of the penetrometer to remove any excess grease. Notice the nice even line of grease around the top of the penetrometer. We do not want any grease on the inside of the bowl as this can get onto the sample blocking some pores. He places the cap onto the top of the pen and rotates it to spread the grease into a uniform layer around the outer edge of the penetrometer sealing surface. He wants to make sure he has the cap centered on top of the penetrometer and evenly seated on the layer of grease. It is important that the grease is uniformly distributed under the cap and that there are no air bubbles present in the film of grease that could be points where the seal could leak. Chris holds the penetrometer up so that he can look through the penetrometer sealing surface to determine visually that he has a uniform seal. He adds the sealing nut and tightens it snugly. The mass of penetrometers needed to determine the sample densities and since the amount of grease used each time may vary, a new penetrometer mass is needed for each analysis. Chris will tear the penetrometer weighing support on the balance and record the mass of penetrometer plus sample. He will subtract the sample mass to obtain the penetrometer mass. The sample is now ready for analysis using the autopore.